summer. Finally a break after the university. I was a young 20 years old man, always used to staying inside his room, looking at the world from the screen of his computer. But there it was. The day I'll finally discover Asia. I had no idea of what was going to happen to me, but the best was yet to come. It's a season of change And the night we've waited for is here and We've exchanged the rings And we've taken the vows The ceremony's over, baby oh. And the honeymoon is starting now this is the first dance, but it won't be the last. And timeless moments like this, they won't ever be a thing of the past. We'll spark a candle tonight, an eternal flame of romance. Honeymoon is over, baby. I'll still move you like the first day. Everything started July 13th. I hadn't got much sleep the day before, and I was still trying to figure out what was going on around me. It was the first time I'd take the plane alone, and it didn't look like an easy task. But eventually, I found my gate and headed to Shanghai. The Shanghai Putong Airport was an extraordinary thing to look at. It was pretty modern and you couldn't drink water under 30 degrees. But I heard the airport was imagined by French architect Paul Andrew, which kind of makes you feel more comfortable. Being in a plane is a little scary, but staying in it for over 10 hours becomes very painful. Thank God the air company found a way to cheer things up a bit. After 15 long hours of wait, 4 movies and 4 meals, I finally landed in Taiwan. Boy, I felt numb. I realized that I hadn't slept that much during the flight, but it didn't matter. I was really excited to meet the other students. I then arrived at the airport, where I met David for the first time, a mechanical engineer student who was going to take care of us during the summer school. I also had to convert my US dollars into Taiwanese dollars, and I was scared I'd end up with a lot of money. But Taiwan's smallest coin is $1 so I didn't have too much cash to carry, after all. The bus trip to the NCU went pretty well. I finally met some people I'd stay with, like Reda, a French student from Haas, majoring in maths, and two Hong Kong guys, Chi Quan and Brian, studying math too. Yeah, that's okay. Hello. <laughs> right after unpacking, we all headed to a little restaurant where we'd have dinner, the right time for us to chat a little with each other and try figuring out where everybody came from. Tommy. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hello. <laughs> My first day at the NCU started smoothly. After a quick breakfast just below our dorm, we headed to class. Except that our classroom was located at the other end of the campus. So we walked all the way there, discovering our new environment at the same time. The NCU had been ravaged by a typhoon a few days ago. But hopefully, there were no casualties. Later I discovered our classroom, where we were going to have three hours of Chinese language courses every day. This is Gante, and here's Kisum. Both Korean students I'll study with in class A. Yeah, we're all beginners in Chinese. The rest of the day passed by pretty fast, and I didn't really have time to realize where I was or what I was doing. I crashed in my bed after class and took a look at what was on TV. Wow, I didn't understand a thing. So I decided to go out and eat with our counselor David and Hayato, a Japanese student. We tried out some beef and noodle soup, which was delicious even if I had a lot of difficulties eating with chopsticks. My day ended after some pool games. I was surprised at how cheap it was because the fee was proportional to the time spent playing instead of the amount of games played. By splitting up the price, I think I ended up paying 20 cents for about 1 hour 30 of play. A 
following day went pretty well. After visiting the campus, I joined the cultural course class where we created our own necklaces using nail polish. I started to feel more and more comfortable with my new classmates. Even if 10 of us were French, there were a bunch of Koreans and a lot of girls. This is Matthias, a French student studying Chinese back in Lyon and staying for one whole year at the NCU. And this is Adrian, another French student coming from the UTBM, which is the school in which I study engineering back in France. By the end of the afternoon, some people got the chance to present their creation in front of the class. I met Boran for the first time. Hey! You... Oh, you... 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 Ah! Ah! I'm your friend, Boran! Yes! Yeah. You are on film! I hope to visit your country! Yeah. You do your best to, to be a brilliant student! Mm -hmm. Yeah! Mm. To study this university! Oh, uh -huh. okay. oh good! Uh, Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Later in the evening, we went out to visit Zhongli, which is the city where the NCU is located. I met Ava and Tim, two Taiwanese teacher assistants during the summer school, majoring in French. I also met Lin, a counselor just like David, who was going to take care of us during the trip. Oh wow, you know French too! The temperature always rose from several degrees when we went to Zhongli downtown because of the heavy traffic and pollution. I was surprised to see that even at night, all the shops were still open, and a lot of people were in the streets. Hey, hello. I'm happy you, you came here. Okay. Oh, look at those. 